Hey everyone, Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And uh, so 48 hours after the release of AMD's latest generation GPUs, RDNA 3, RX 7000 series, both the 7900 XT and XTX are able to mine cryptocurrency. However, hold the phone. It's not really spectacular. Even though AMD's biggest marketing push uh, was about efficiency, it doesn't look too bright. Now, Dizzy Mining shows us here uh, the hash rate for both of these. So we're going to start off with the XT. And it's getting around 97, almost 98 mega hash at 242 watt software. And we always want to measure from the wall, but just stay tuned. Now, I can identify the miner he's using in this particular video. If anybody wants to uh, let me know down in the comments. But he's got the core dropped down as low as he can, 1425. Uh, he's got the memory at 2620. There's obviously going to be further op optimizations needed bo from both the AMD driver team and the different miner uh, devs that develop these miners to fully utilize the GPU. Because you can see here, if you look very carefully, it almost looks like there's two GPUs. It says Radeon and then a brackets, which I can't see the rest, and then 7900 XT. So anyways, the little brother XT, only 98 mega hash or around 100 mega hash at 242 watts. And you can see the efficiency is only 0.416, which we know the 5600 XT and some of the older generation, um, it does a lot better as far as efficiency. So AMD toting efficiency as a, a good marketing ploy is not looking too good when it comes to the mining side of things. And, and even some of the gaming results or reviews that I've seen. Now moving on to the XTX, we've got 111 mega hash at almost 276 watts. So very thirsty. Uh, the two 8 pins should do just, do just fine on the reference model, but we know the AIBs come with three 8 pins, so you might draw some more juice um, if you really wanted to. But again, dropping the core clock down, he has 1530 on the XTX and 2620. Maybe that's the highest he could get right now. Um, and it's just not too dramatic. Now, it is an improvement over the 6000 series. Say, for example, the 6900 XT, 6800, 6900 XT, all did at the max 64 mega hash or around 64 mega hash. Um, and you can make those cards a little bit more efficient. Um, so it'll be interesting to see once I'm able to get my hands on these GPUs to see what the actual performance is. And obviously your favorite content creators will also release. But my point still stands that the AMD RX 7000 series will not work off rip. If you haven't checked out that video, please do. Um, it's going to take some time for optimizations, not only in AMD drivers, but minor devs. Uh, to make this card or fully utilize his cards and their capabilities. But we'll see how things pan out as Dizzy continues to provide us uh, updates, you know, various algorithms, cryptocurrencies. But it doesn't look like all of them are working just yet. But at least 48 hours into it, we are able to mine with these cards. Now, gamers, don't fret. Uh, that doesn't mean the miners are going to go out and buy these cards in droves or by the pallet. Um, but, uh, you know, it's attractive to gamers, it's attractive to miners, it's attractive to content creators, duty CAD, so on and so forth. So just be patient with one another, be nice. Um, and that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out, and make sure to get subscribed not only to my channel, but Dizzy Mining as well. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.